Democratic Congresswoman Susan Del Benet of Washington State. She's the new chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. It's very good to have you on the show. I, I wonder what you make of what is happening in the House right now and what opportunity this poses for Democrats. Well, um, good morning. It's great to be with you. And it has been chaos. Uh, the Republicans have been the Chaos Caucus, and they're proving that yet again. Um, inability, oh, there's just not leadership there to help bring people together. And the American people want to see us govern. And we can't govern, especially, as you mentioned, when we can't even swear in members of Congress, um, put them in their positions going forward. So um, there's a lot that needs to happen. This, the, the, Kevin McCarthy's desire to be speaker has been something he's been working on a long time. So I don't know what changes now at the last minute when these conversations have been going on for months. Congresswoman, congratulations. Uh, you also are the new pick to head the DCCC. Uh, tell us uh, your agenda for that organization as this new Congress, well, we assume, will get seated soon. Um, well, uh, it's an honor to be the new chair of the DCCC um, and work with our new leadership team. Uh, this is really important. We want to make sure that we can see that governance works. And for governance to work, we need true leadership. And I think we saw that when Democrats are in the majority, um, we're able to make things happen for the American people. And so we only need to net five seats to have that majority again. We're going to work hard. I started in Congress um, coming from a swing district, um, serving as one of the, or having to get reelected as a frontline member, one of those folks who are targets on the Republican side. So I know what it's like to run in a tough district. And um, we have a lot of great members. We have 18 seats out there that Republicans hold that Biden won in 2020. So we have an incredible opportunity to take back the majority in 2024 um, and continue to put us on a good path going forward. So I'm going to work hard across the country, build a great team um, at the DCCC, make sure we recruit strong candidates across the country make sure we have the resources we need to support our candidates and our incumbents running for re-election and get our message out because we have a strong unified message um, for the people to support the needs of our communities and to govern. Hi, Congresswoman. It's Jennifer Palmieri. Um, congratulations, I guess. I know it's a very tough, it's a very tough job and it's 2024 is going to be a tough year. Uh, you talked about the uh, members of Congress that won Biden, Republican, uh, Republicans that won Biden districts, 18 of them. You don't, you, know, you only need a few of them to win to take the House back. We just had Congressman Lawler on. He's one of them. How are you all thinking about how you hold those 18 in particular accountable for the, you know, chaos, dysfunction, that we uh, that we've seen and how the Republican Party is being held sort of captive at this point anyway by these most extreme members. Well, um, Americans across the country want to see governance work. I think that's actually a bipartisan statement. And um, partisan governance work is having members come forward, bring policy forward, and build the coalitions necessary to move policy. And that's going to be, and I think we showed that we can do that. And we had a very small majority as well. Um, so all of the Republicans who um, will be serving, it, they're accountable for making that happen too. And clearly they can't elect a speaker right now. Um, that shows the dysfunction. It's unclear how they're going to work to build coalitions. And we're going to show that we're going to continue to work to build coalitions to get legislation moving that supports our communities and families across the country. The new chair of the DCCC, Congresswoman Susan Delbonet, thank you very much.